Hey kids, it's Kristen. So today what I have is a, probably two looks and a review. We'll look at the palette first and see if I want to do one or two. Um, so what we have here is Ladybug, Ladybug Glow, um, and the name of, the sh the sh it's a shop on Etsy, the name of the shop as well as Ladybug Glow, and I will link that below. Hopefully, I'll try. I, I think I'm linking things. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Um, so this is the only item she has right now on her uh, in her shop. I know she had some blushes a while ago that looked really pretty, and it sounds like she plans on restocking them. So, depending on how they look, maybe, and how this goes, maybe I will pick it up. Um, and just FYI, if you are looking at purchasing from her, her shop, there was like some controversy. She had like a different palette and uh, somebody found the same palette on Amazon. I guess what happened was she saw the palette on Amazon and was like, I really like this color story. And so she sent it to her lab to make it in her formula and people were like accusing her of buying these Amazon palettes and repackaging them with the same quality and I don't know the quality of the Amazon products sometimes you find some off-brand Amazon stuff that's really good so but just FYI that happened it's a big deal apparently um I don't you know I didn't look too far into it because I don't get into drama um, too much. So that's the color story. It's really pretty. Um, some of the colors are a little more neon. So, oh shoot. I thought I was going to be prepared, but I guess I'm not. Let's do some swatches. It is supposed to snow like crazy this weekend. We're supposed to get like, oh, I don't know like a foot of snow by Monday. I'm filming this on a Saturday morning, bright and early. So that's the top row there. It's all mats. Not bad. Um, pretty pigmented, that purple. Not as opaque, but it builds up okay. So that's cool. I like a buildable formula. Oh, excited about the silver. Love a good silver. You, you know, you get a lot of gold and nothing against gold, but you don't get a lot of good silvers. And that swatch very nice. I'll, obviously, I'll show you in a second. Is that multi-chrome? I don't know. Currently, um, I just looked before I started filming, and currently this palette is on sale for $20.12. And I think I, I paid, it's originally um, $30.95, and I got, I believe it was 40% off when I bought this. So with taxes and shipping and everything, I think I paid around, I want to say like 21 to $24 or something like that. All right, that's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out one day. That is the second row. So it looks like all together we got 10 shadows with seven mattes and three shimmers. And I am enjoying the shimmers, so. We'll try for two looks and see what I can come up with. I'm going to get these swatches off my arms just because I know if I don't, there is going to be a mess. And I don't need a bigger mess because my beauty room is already a mess. But I did clear off my vanity here a little bit as much as it will be cleared off. All right, 
Well, you know, I like a vibrant color. I think I'm gonna go in with the orange and yellow for the first look and use, gosh, mm. maybe I'm gonna go in with You know what, I'm gonna switch it up completely. I'm gonna go in with this or like light orange color there. It's called Cute. And do the matte black night. And stunning that middle shimmer there on the bottom. All right, wish me luck. When I swatched, there wasn't a whole lot of fallout, which is nice, especially if you're using like these dark, like, a black color because you know it gets everywhere and I did do my base first usually I do my base last in case there is a lot of fallout but I wasn't quite sure if I was ready to be barefaced on camera yet so I'm just stamp stamping this in on the outer corner on nicely very very opaque for the black I like that um, some blacks, it's just like, you really have to build up and you don't really get a good black black. It almost looks like, uh, oops, I think I messed that brush up. We're gonna use a different brush because uh, I dipped it on my makeup eraser, but I dipped it in the micellar water. So kind of screwed that up a little bit. Okay. Woo. That is nice. I'll have to clean up that bottom. We're not going for like too emo here, so don't want an inch of black on the bottom lid. All right, we'll get a bigger fluffy brush and going with that cute shade, that kind of salmony orange color. There we go. Blend it out. And then, yeah. We're using it to blend the edges of the black and then kind of bring the black inward so we don't have like a harsh black over the front half of the eyelid but there's some uh, like shadowing in there so there it's not like just abruptly stopped on the black there's a little bit of shading there and that really blended out nicely and I pro it probably would have blended out down this way nicely as well if I just went in like with a fluffy brush but the orange or the salmon orangey color and the black are going well together it's like diffusing out the harsh of the black without taking the black away. Sometimes when you uh, shade and, oh shoot, I can't even think of the word. Uh, put colors together, it gets all mucky and they bleed into, get into each other without looking nice they just like make like a muddy look so that went on very nicely so I'm gonna take a little bit of glitter glue actually I said I was gonna do stunning but oh, do I want to do I think I'm gonna do wow I'll show you Yeah, sometimes I just make stuff up as I go along, so. So I'm gonna do that third shade, which I believe is a multi-chrome, or at least a duochrome. Okay. Clean off that brush I use the black on. I always try to use like not as many brushes which is silly because I have so many brushes. And I, I actually like cleaning my brushes. A lot of people complain about it, but 
I like doing it. I think it's like very satisfying to see all the like gunk come off. Oh, that is gorgeous. See all the gunk come off your brushes and be like, yeah. So I don't see cleaning my brushes as like a huge chore. Um, it, yeah, like I said, I think it's kind of cool to see all the gunk come off of there. So we're gonna take that same wow, go underneath, kind of soften up the black and uh, shade out the black on the bottom so it's not so harsh. Oh yeah, that, I love that. And of course the camera probably isn't doing it justice, but I think that is absolutely beautiful. I really like that. I'm gonna throw on some mascara. I really like that. What should we do? That greenish blue teal is calling my name and I really want to try that silver. Should I? So should I try? I think what I'm going to do is do like green, purple, and the silver and see how that turned out for me. You know, sometimes color schemes, I do them and I'm like, eh, it has nothing really to do with the formula, it's just me. Not being creative and the creativity doesn't work out. <laughs> so the purple is $19.99, which, you know, seems so long ago. I was in high school. Yeah. How old were y'all in 1999? I was 14. Yeah. So I just started in high school. Going on nicely. It's not pigmented and I think that was one of the ones that when I swatched was a little um, not not as opaque but um, built up nicely so, you know I do like an opaqueness but you know if I have to build up that's okay too some people, you know, like that ability to build up because they don't want to be like hit with color right away. They want to be able to like build it up to their desired uh, brightness. And I'm just like, give it that color right now. I somehow got something on my shirt. That's somehow it's just me because I'm me. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, I'll get dirty somehow, like something on my shirt or pants or face, and I'm like, I don't even know what that is. How, like, I'll get ready for work and I get dressed as like the last thing because I just know that I can get something on me. And I'll drive to work, it's like a five minute drive, and somehow. I get dirty like in the car and not doing anything with driving. Who knows? So that is very nice. Went on very nicely. Went together nicely. It's giving me that uh <laughs> remember those cups from like the eighties, nineties, the white like paper cups that had the like squiggly design. It's giving me that kind of vibe. So that's kind of my, it's my 90s look. So I guess at 1999, although I would say it was more early 90s, but still. So diffusing out that purple on the lower and then going in with rad. Just 
if you some more give it some color the red didn't go on very there we go so the mats has have do have some kickback i know when i swatched them they didn't really but uh like the red did but that's not bad it's not like an uh, enormous amount where it's like a pain and it doesn't um transfer too much onto the brush like I'm not really seeing anything down here so that's nice and a little kickback like you know is to be expected all right we're gonna do a little glitter glue and then we're gonna go in with the silver which is disco How are you guys? How's the weather where you guys are at? Like I said, we're gonna get like a foot of snow in the next couple days, so I'm not looking forward to that. But luckily, I don't have to work um, until Wednesday. Yeah, I think it's Wednesday. So hopefully, the roads will be cleared up. Or, you know, there won't be a foot of snow on the roads by then. The pack's a bunch. And at first I thought it was going to crease because it was like settling right into my I have like creasy, wrinkly eyelids. But then I went over it again and it covered it up. So awesome. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love that silver. That is awesome. So throw in a little mascara again. Complete the look. And this mascara, this is a this is a little sample one that I don't like Ipsy or something. It's pure on point. It's okay. I'm you know, there's very few mascaras that like blow my mind. Um I'm one of those people that like it's hard for me to to be like overly impressed with a lot of things, but I also don't hate a lot of things. I'm very in the middle about many things. This palette, I would say, is more towards awesome than just in the middle. It's really great. Um, the mattes blended together. The two shimmers I used are very um, pigmented. They look great. They're really giving me that shine. And there's um, these two. Just the yeah. These two both have a shift. So at least duochrome, if not multi-chrome, which for a 10 pan palette that you can get, even if you paid full price at $30.95, having some duochromes, duochromes are expensive to make, um, or multi-chromes are even more expensive. That's a good price point. And she's been having sales pretty much since she launched this palette. So, and like I said, I think with shipping and everything, I paid in the lower 20s. So that I think was a great, uh, investment. It's, I really like the two looks I made. I really think they're pretty and they blended together. I like the color story. Um, there's a red in there, which, uh, as I mentioned before, reds are my favorite just cause like they often make me look sickly. But other than that, and that's a personal problem. That's nothing to do with the brand or the formula or anything. That's just me. But I really enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, I will link that website below and um, be awesome if you guys checked her out. Like I said, this is the only thing she has right now and I just checked the website right before I started filming, but hopefully she'll put out other stuff that's great like this with cool color stories and good formulas and we can uh, grow together with her because obviously with one product she's not a huge shop yet, but that's great. I like finding new shops, new brands, and um, seeing what they put out and what they grow. I think that's really cool. Um, so I would encourage you guys to check her out if you're looking for something. And I appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed my video, please like, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time.